Artificial intelligence has helped social service agencies save on time and manpower. With AI, organizations can screen at least six times more patients per week and boost staff productivity by a third. AI is also helping to detect issues early in five times more people with 90% accuracy. Still, experts caution that for AI to be widely embraced, robust policies and regulations are essential. Nadira Zaidi with more. Yeah, so basically these are emotions. Whether you're experiencing joy, yeah, <laughs> grappling with sadness, or feeling the heat of anger, this innovative AI software can tell. Social service agency Lions Befrienders says it's key to unlocking deeper insights into the mental state of the elderly. They don't know how to, to express how they feel. Uh, the artificial intelligence gives us a snapshot in the window into some of the challenges they're facing. And when highlighted, they can then have more space to reflect on how they are feeling versus how it's presented in the, in the uh, artificial intelligence software. And when our counsellors and case workers follow up with conversations and questions, they can then be better able to answer and express how they feel. Other AI tools like chatbots and virtual therapists are also useful in offering around-the-clock support. But when it comes to accuracy, deep research is necessary. When we are, you know, setting up the algorithm, it's important to uh, bear in mind about uh, the variety of the people uh, in the society. Like in Singapore, right, we have different, different uh, ethnic, uh, different linguistic, different, you know, social background, etc. Dr. Yue adds it's also the responsibility of AI users to prevent data breaches or leaks. <laughs> The software is only being used at the point in time when it's activated, but we do not retain any data in terms of the facial features being captured or the person's face being recognised or kept in any cloud system. While AI makes mental health solutions more accessible, experts say there's still more work to be done for broader use. For the therapists and psych psychiatrists, uh, we will have the certified and the regulation for these human beings, uh, but for the AI chatbot, uh, we probably need something similar to regulate and certify. The algorithms, the data they used, uh, all need to be monitored, for example. For now, a set of guidelines crafted by various ministries and state boards is paving the way forward. Meanwhile, a groundbreaking new centre by Nanyang Technological University and the National Healthcare Group is set to elevate AI in healthcare. Its focus includes elderly frailty, medical imaging, cancer screening and mental health, key areas that pose a challenge for Singapore's healthcare system as the population ages. While it's ready to shake things up in community care, the goal is to make healthcare more personalised and responsive to what really matters to people.